Hello, this is Jeff from CMAC. Today, we're going to go over how to use Audacity. Please note that this will be a basic tutorial to get you off the ground recording your own stuff. We'll be covering some very basic settings, importing, recording, and a little more. So what is Audacity? Audacity is a free audio recording and editing software available on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. As of recording this video, however, Audacity is not yet available on Mac OS Catalina. To download Audacity, simply type Audacity into your search engine and click the first relevant link and then the download button. To start off in Audacity, you'll need to check your audio settings. Select your microphone by clicking the drop down menu next to the microphone icon. Then select if you would like to record in stereo or mono. Generally, I would recommend that you keep it in stereo. Finally, select your playback device. This is where you'll hear your audio when you play it back. If you'd like to import pre-recorded audio into Audacity, simply click File, Import, Audio, and then select your desired file. Once you import your audio, I recommend clicking the Make a Copy of the Files Before Editing option. Audacity will prompt you with this option whenever you import a file. To record audio directly on Audacity, click the red Record button. You can pause the recording at any time by pressing the Pause button and resume it by clicking the Pause button again. When you want to fully stop the recording, just click the Stop button. To begin editing your audio, you can place your playhead anywhere in the audio track by clicking the desired location. By default, the playhead will be at the beginning of the track. Clicking the play button will play your audio from the playhead's position. You can click and drag to select a specific area. Clicking the play button will only play audio from that selected area. You can also hit the backspace key on your keyboard to delete the selected audio. To undo an action, simply click the undo button. Clicking the Redo button will redo anything that you undid. You can use the Envelope tool to raise and lower your audio at specific points. The audio level will fade between the keyframes. To split a section of audio, simply select the area by clicking and dragging. Go up to Edit, Clip Boundaries, and then Split. Using the Time Shift tool allows you to move your audio clips along the track. For organizational purposes, you can actually label specific sections of audio. This is useful if you want to refer back to an area later. To do this, click and drag with the Selection tool. Now go up to Edit, Labels, then Add Labels at Selection. Without clicking anything else, type in what you want to name the section. At this time, you can also add the clip boundaries like we did before in order to completely section it off. If you want to remove a section of audio, like a word, but don't want to delete it for timing purposes, you can do that by selecting the area and clicking the Silence Audio Selection button. This way, the audio will be deleted, but the timing of the clip will not be altered. Now that you're finished recording and or editing, it's time to export. Click the File button, then Export, and now select your file type. I recommend selecting either WAV or MP3. WAV will create a larger, uncompressed audio file that contains all of the recording data. This is great to use as a master file or for long-term storage as it's one of the highest quality versions. MP3, on the other hand, will create a smaller, more compressed file. MP3s are great for uploading to the internet because of their smaller size. If you're uploading a podcast, for instance, I recommend MP3. Keep in mind, however, that there's nothing stopping you from exporting in both formats. You'll just have to go through the exporting process twice. Now all you have to do is select the file destination and click Export. I recommend saving the Audacity file by clicking File, Save Project, and then Save Project again. This way, you can open up the project in the future in order to make any necessary edits. As we close out the tutorial here, I'd like to mention that there's far more that you can do within Audacity. The program is full of effects, modifiers, and much more. It's an extremely powerful and free tool that I recommend you play around with. Thank you all for watching, and have fun recording.